right. Uh, we got them running. Yes, we are. Hello, and welcome back to Wild Arms with Deep Light, your Taku. Yeah, we are. Well, the f we are at the first proper stream of the new year. And, well, it's back to something. It's back to Wild Arms, of, of course. So, and, well, we will be starting uh, with only two characters available. Oh, one moment. I seem to have forgotten something very important. Uh, rush so much to get this stream started up. At least mostly on time. I actually forgot to do something very important. Uh, something important is changing my glasses. Because I seem to actually manage better with. And I just bang me. <sighs> Uh, just bang the microphone. I actually do much better dealing with these glasses because they're a bit further up, a bit further back, but uh, they are a lot better. And as you can see, we only have Cecilia and Jack. And that is because when we last left our bunch of intrepid heroes, they actually did get dragged dragged into the gate generator by the demons and their attempt was to actually trap them in another dimension unfortunately yeah, oh fortunate well the one way they were actually trying to stop to stop at least Rudy from doing anything was to actually Pin his arm, pin his arm down, pin his arm. So, literally, he couldn't do anything. But what he decided to do was cut his arm. And unfortunately, when when everyone managed to find out find their way out of the gate generator, thanks to the Cecilia and the teardrop, uh, they found out that Rudy was actually not entirely human. Oh, and it's because this is because my top is actually riding on the headset cable, and because after Celia found out that even I say, and even Emma couldn't figure out, didn't know. So we are heading back to. C. Marielle, if I remember her name correctly. Unfortunately, we are down to two people on our team, so... Right. And it's all the way around here. And you know what I'm gonna do? Where is it? Hi, Spark! Oh, hello! Yep, misses and counter attacks. And that's one dead. I think I've got to reboost the volume on this again. And yep. And we're just wrecking things. And we just disembark here. And 
try not to get into too many random battles. Uh, Venom Bears. Ugh. Same routine. Hi, Spark. Bye, Venom Bears. <laughs> And we're back to Rosetta Town. I reload arms, but you don't have one. Yeah, because we no longer have Rudy on the team. Alright, let's save. And we're done. And what we need to do is to head back down here. What? How? Rudy, his arm. What's happening? Jack and Celia tell Mariel everything up to this point in their adventure. Use the herbs and the pain will go away. This is the benefit of the... Of the life within metal body that you possess, Rudy. Life within metal? How would you know? It is a thousand year old sin. The metal that has a consciousness. As you know, the demons have machines for their bodies. The laws and humans dared to step into their realm and play gods. If this was a small wound, I could do something about it with herbs. But to replace a lost arm... Nowhere in Fulgaia can you recreate life within metal. Again. Maybe if it were a thousand years ago, maybe then. Rudy's arm could have been... Let's go to the temple in the forest mound. Deep in that forest, your laws, we left a gift. Alright, so next stop is the forest mound. Yeah. And we can't select Rudy. Uh, so I'm going to resave. And immediately head back, head out and back down to the forest mound, which is just over here. left Fulgar after the war with the demons had ended. We lords normally live in the forest. After the war, the land was no longer suitable for us, so we created this realm called the Lord Dimension. We used the last of our power to move this land to another dimension. We closed the gates and this became our new home. There you can see Fulgar of a thousand years ago, and this is the gate that connects the lore world to Fulgaia. We couldn't budge this thing, even with a cannon. Maybe this gate broke because of a thousand years of inactivity. 
That would not be good for Rudy. This gate oath operates on your Lord's heart and life energy. Your Lord's live by bonds. We bond to time in order to live an eternal life. We bond to the land to enjoy nature. We will gladly give up everything to bond with those who we believe who we believe in. Rudy saved my life in this forest. Now it's my turn to repay him. Okay, a thousand years ago. Alright. Hang on. Uh, I need to go double check my. Ah. Right, after you head the black. Ah, there we go. Uh. A full Libra. Alright, so we have to head up. And up. And up some more. There we go. And we head this way. Yeah, probably have to go. Yeah, because I think it's this way and this way. All right, hang on. I'm gonna have to double check this. South to the next clearing, go west into the hidden path and north when you reach the middle of the thicket of trees. There we go, and there. One crest graft, and two crest grafts. Time to head south and oh. the humans have activated the gate and they are here. She is the child of a criminal. There is no reason for us to help her. Go back to your dying world.
own cross project. Artificial life that can survive under any conditions. This horn cross is the ultimate enchantment. Too many different kinds of arms. It synchronizes with different arms. This enhances the psychic power of the arm. But the horn cross enjoyed killing so much they literally became a killing machine. Was it the blood of the demons or was it man's lust for conflict? No one knows for sure. The deployed horn cross were destroyed. There is, however, one horn cross left. An experimental model was sealed deep underground. The time we spent with the human gave him a pure heart. Is that what you're saying? the experimental machine but it's too late we don't have the technology to give life to metals anymore those powers were lost to us long ago there is nothing we can do the sand ocean that starts from Rosetta and cuts across the land. That was the result of the untrained and refined guardian blade of Bassin. Ariel stayed there alone to pay for her brother's sins. He is working to turn the sand ocean back to normal. We can't afford to make the same mistake again. If we do nothing, then that is what pure Gaia will be. Nothing. If we run now, we will live like weaklings for the rest of our lives. I don't want to lose the bond between myself and the people who taught me to be strong. Miracles only have value if you can do it yourself. It is absolutely true. Miracles don't occur easily. If it can be done, it will probably be done by a human. The Guardian of Fulgar is a human. about Rudy's radar we have absolutely no idea oh and that's right we need to switch to there are monsters in the forest it's safe if we stay in this village Right, so... Mm, nothing in here. Yeah, because we are at full health and full... Right. There we go, one Agile Apple. Hmm. Oh. So that's the... <laughs> 
So that's the Allure's Dimension, that's the Allure Dimensions version of the... This is Tarjon and the Allure Tribe. This isn't a place for humans. Sunbird Hat. I believe that is for Jack. I think we've already done that one. Asim has turned Fulgar into a wasteland. The sinner had to be locked up in the land beyond the forest. Right. Ah, here we go. Oh! Can I touch you? I've never seen anything that was law. <laughs> oh, nothing in that one. Blue ribbon. Who thinks that this is... For, the, for Celia! <laughs> right. So... Right, so we've got another thing that's down here. Oh, I'm just going to quickly... Hmm. Make sure we are all... Travelers, did you come from a place full in our fables? And right, so uh nope. Okay, yep. Thank you. Right, nothing here. Alright. Ah there you are. The life guardian in the is in the forest prison. I don't don't know why though. Don't look at the things you don't like. Don't do the things you don't want to do. This is how we live. Why do you... Huh. Right, that's... Nope, nothing in there. And a Mr. Capple. Hmm. Treasures of Fulgar are finally being used. Remember, power without heart is evil. The forest prison. It is a prison for monsters built by the Allures to trap monsters who infiltrate the Allures world. They go in, but they don't come out. Not all the prisoners are monsters. The Guardian of Life is also trapped in there. Outside, I ask of you to release the Guardian of Life. Use this key to open the chest which seals the Guardian. Spirit key acquired. Device of child. Occasionally accidents, accidents do occur and sometimes you'll end up in some scary place. During normal operations though it works fine, but if you give any more impact your risks increase. Right, I'm gonna quickly. I don't think I've actually gone in this what this house yet. And I don't think there is anything in here. This is a shame. The humans are visiting our village. The scariest place in the world is the Abyss. They keep all the monsters there. I'm so scared of that place I don't even know the location. And the Mega Berry. The air and the water in this place is the same as it was a thousand years ago. 
Shouldn't things have changed in such a long period of time? Hmm. In here, you could say that there are no monsters in your lower world. We sealed them inside a place far from here, located to the southwest. Right. Now I think that we've, uh... Got everything we can out of this area. I'm gonna quickly. I think we did pick up a few items like one agile apple, one mystic apple. Alright, so what we are going to do is save at the Lord Dimensions version of the save bird. And now in Tarjon Village. Ooh, a little stuttery. Right. So, we are going southwest. Yep, and there we go, the forest prison. Right. Wow. Foggy much? Alright, first left. Southwest into the next area. to get through these mazes just go left or right all the way just go left or right all the way out simple enough right so that literally means we can either go to the left or to the right Right. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to bully bear our way through. No, that didn't work as much. Oh, 509. I think we might, I think all this audio. Right, so from here we can either head to the left or to the right. We do have this ability to unlock. Oh, that's better. Bear hug.
Okay, so south. Okay. So he has fire ability, so... Alright, let's try this again. And Cecilia... High freeze! Oh, I've already run out of that. It's super effective. This is odd. I'm not getting all the audio. Hmm. Okay, I think I might have gotten myself lost. Oh, a warrior's vest. And a crest graft? Oh, fuck. Uh, right, snatchers. <sighs> I really had the feeling I might end up restarting this. And it didn't work again. And a bear hug. Right. Hopefully this one hit should take that one out. Still not getting the ability. Right, so let's try it again. But now I know that fire doesn't work on that one. I'm just going to use high freeze. And I'm going to have to uh, use up the last of my supplies of And we're down to nine heel berries. Uh, 
ambushed. And critical hit. I think this one is luck based. I think I might have gotten myself lost. Uh, right, high flame. I've only got 144, 129 magic left. At least this time it actually did damage. And a counter. That should take it out. This is where actually, uh, oh, okay, so that has just brought us back to where we started. So, south, uh, I think I've got myself lost. Good thing is it's using that ability constantly or well or trying to master it constantly. So, one hit from Cecilia should take this one out. Gonna have to start using lower powered magic. Those bear hugs aren't gonna help much. And yes, Shadowbind has been mastered, right. Cecilia is now down to 810 health. And if I don't get out of here soon, I'm probably going to have to end up... Hmm. And a Crestcraft. Head south. Uh, 
Oh, right. Meteor dive. This one is going to have to require a high flame. I just have to hope that we can actually take it out in one blast. Thirteen ninety-four. Right, this should work. Although with him constantly casting high shield. It's probably going to take a few attempts. Oh, actually no. Although we are getting a fair chunk of XP from this. Excuse me. <sighs> uh, I'm going to have to try this again. Right. The only problem is, he's barely got any heal berries. I'm not sure if the potion berries I've been getting would be enough. So this stream might end up ending a bit earlier than expected. Right. Right, so I need to double check. I'll show you how to get through these mazes. Let's go left or right all the way out. Right. Right. I'm gonna meteor dive that. Hang on. I think it should be powerful enough that a basic free spell should take it out. No. No, so that meteor dive will kill off that dude. Oh. Wait, hang on one minute. How on earth did he get advantage first? I really have no idea. Right, so either to the left or to the right. Sabbath. Well, and we're going to have to heal Jack. 
Alright, so we got 19 potion berries. Alright, so that's good. Let's see what's up here. Alright. So let's go... This way... Okay, right. Uh, Jack Meteor Dive, Cecilia. Now I'm gonna go full tilt and high flame it. Hmm. And we have a counter attack, and that one's dead. Thank goodness. And he's dead. I'm just gonna go for a full out assault. That should get it. The good thing is, is, we will be getting replacement potion berries. Hang on. No. Right. Yes, we keep on going right. This is good for XP building. Wait, are we going around in circles? I'm walking around in circles. <sighs> right. <sighs> Let's do this again. And I'm gonna have to... I'm going to just shut off the mic, save the game, and hit F1 so we're not race wasting time, and I've got to go to the toilet.
right. There we go. Oh. All right. So let's bring this up. I'm going to. God damn cable. Follow it to the letter. Right. Right. <sighs> right. Let's do this. So an all-out attack should kill it. And we seem to have lost some of our audio prompts. Right, so he says... Left or right, all the way out. Simple enough. Not really, because... It's a whole... It's a complete loop. So, south, right, left, right, go next there and head up at the first junction. Get the, chest gra the crest graft in the chest and head back. Right. No, this is probably going to be the only thing I actually do this whole stream. So, return to previous area, walk to the right the next area, and keep going right until the path bends south. Leading to a... Oh! Ah, right, so we have two of them. Don't think we're gonna... Oh, great. Flame tongue. And we're gonna have to heal Jack. Oh, thank goodness for a few dozen spare potion berries. Right. Um. 
año. Oh, fuck. We've lost half of our audio cues. Uh. Continue to the east. Hang on. Ah, right, so. This is starting to get on my flipping nerves! I barely walk a hundred, uh, barely walk five freaking meters without getting a random encounter! Yeah, let's see what your 50% defense can do. Yeah, keep trying it. See what good it does. You're still gonna be dead. Oh, hang on. Get the rod. Get the right button. I think I might have found the way out. We hope. Uh. 
Okay, powerful blow. isn't going to help you much. And a chest craft. So back here, and we have this. <sighs> so we're nearly done with this. Oh. We got our severe beat down. dead. I'm more, I'm more Doric, guardian of life. Innocent one from Fungaya, receive my gift. I shall cast a light upon your dwindling faith. Either in eternity or morality, my powers are never absolute. Take my power, shaman, for I am the guardian of life. Huh. Okay, so it's restored my health and magic, which is nice. Let's see. Does the life room give uh drops down resistance and parry, but does give some boost to strength, vitality, attack points, and defense. So, yep, I'm gonna give her the life rune. And it's now time to get the heck out of here. As long as we don't end up with any more random encounters. Right. Yeah, but the good thing is, we recovered all our he all our health and magic. Which is nice.
And thank goodness we are out. Nothing there, there's nothing there. Unfortunately, we don't have anything that can blow up. Hmm, there we go, one mega berry. Okay, so duplicator and magic carrot are inside. A duplicator. There's the hyper gear. There's the magic carrot. And that appears to be everything. So let's I can't believe I'm looking at a spin home cross. Really needs some living melt to heal his left arm. Please use the guardian blade. Last one last time. No. Need the Life Force Guardian. To regulate its powers, we need the Illusion Guardian. To both of these in place, we can finally apply the Guardian Blade to its left arm. We're prepping for operation. You warriors go to gather the two powers of the Guardians. The Life Force Guardian is sealed somewhere in the Forest Prison. I don't know where the Illusion Guardian is. There is a magical book called Della Metallica. It's a book about alchemy, and it said the power of illusion lives in it. To find one tiny book in this huge world. Yep. Yeah, and literally. So, Mario can actually. Heal him. Ah, right. So we are going to have to, uh, Okay, I must not have picked up that ability. Uh, 
Uh, looks like I might have to end up going through the... Right, can I actually cheat my way around and enter the forest prison and use escape? I don't think so. It only takes you back to where you started from. Right, so we are going to have to... Okay, so we're going to have to head back to where we started. Hmm. Alright. Meteor dive. <laughs> I sure isn't gonna do much for you there. Oh, and he's been paralyzed. Okay, so I think what I'm going to have to do is just head back to the Kuran Abbey. Uh, and once I'm back there, I'm going to have to put the stream to bed. Uh... Come on, and he's dead. Right, let's quickly... Right, so... It only works once. Oh, uh... right, so two snatches. I'm just going to use the old routine of. Oh, I've used the wrong bloody ability. You... Although I think he's going to kill him, so. Attack automatically migrates to the other enemy. And he's dead. And... Right, let's just hope... I can get the heck out of here before I run out of magical patience. <sighs> okay, uh, high flame. Right. I think all I'm going to do is get back to the Abbey and... Ah. Yep, that should work. Nope. I think it's the next northern exit on the right. Ah, uh, right. So let's just do that. I think I'll just do a freeze. Oh! 
Oh yeah, that's right, because it it's an all effect. Ah, he's still gonna kill him. Down forty two. And he misses. Thank you. Right. Right, so should be Yes. Okay, right. Quick kill. So, Meteor Dive 1 to kill that. Cecilia's. Mm. Not exactly a powerful blow for 416 damage. High Flame. Toasty. High shield, not going to do you much good. Alright, so we should. I mean, we have been picking up a lot of potion berries. There we go. Right, so I'm gonna reheal and save at Tarjon. The good thing is, on the overworld map here, you don't end up having to deal with. Random encounters! Right, and saving. Right, now we have to find the forest mound. And since this is a replica of Filgar. It's probably somewhere... Ah! Is this it? Yep, there it is, the forest mound. Alright. Alright, so we have to head all the way back up. Um, this should take us back to our world. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly... No, we need the item. And we need the ocarina. Because I'm rather not looking forward to having to deal with more enemies on this end of the map. So it's best to use the Earth Golem. the microphone again 
Oh, that's weird. We're not getting the audio cue, so there's a bug somewhere. There's a bug in the audio. So it's probably best that I just shut this down and... These aren't even worth fighting. Yeah, and we're getting audio issues. Alright, so let's see if we can... I think what I'm going to do, instead of just staying here, since, well, you can't actually heal here, you can't rest here. I'm just going to go back to Adlerhide and... And we're going to go here, and we are going to save, and... Oh, this is where I'm going to end the stream. There we go. And that's saved, and... Close content. And we're going to shut down that, and I'm going to go... Back to the full screen. And, well, this really was a stupidly eventful uh, stream. Since I was running around like a bleeding idiot for most of it. Ah, uh, well. Uh, although the schedule is going to be a bit different this week. Because tomorrow I will be streaming again, and it will actually be the Soul Worker experiment that I was going to do last, that I was actually going to do on the Sunday, although it was stopped by issues with streaming, at, with the streaming software, and with um, servers being down, so... Right. What I want to do is see if there is anyone active. Okay, let's see who is All right, so Renault is streaming space engineers And we have the hairy wookie and The other side's turkey streaming a lot of warships So, whom do I choose? Oh, that's obvious. Ugh.
I'm gonna go for one first, and if I don't end up getting anywhere there, I am just going to swap over to After Exodus. So, we, yeah, uh, error searching for live channels, yeah. So, I'm gonna get that going. Go to there. All I have to do is sign out OB uh, Streamlabs and all of that. So, I will be back. Well, I'd actually say in about 10 hours' time. Oh. Uh. One o'clock, eleven, twenty-one. So twenty-two hours time, approximately. So eleven p.m. for my for the beginning of my soul worker experiment. <sighs> and again, Friday we'll be back to Yee's origin because well. Even though we completed with Unica, we still got two more characters to you, to go through. And sa Saturday, we'll be back to the official servers, the Soul Worker. And Sunday, we'll actually be continuing the experiment on the private server. So. As they say, this is the Blighty Otaku signing off. Until next time, I'll catch you later. I'll just quickly hit the host button here and.